Let's get this show on the road, baby. Slade, a Mario player. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I think it's a terrible character. <laughs> People who know me know I have been complaining a lot about him lately, so that ought to be no surprise for him. He might be kind of okay versus Olimar, though, because uh, I do think he would have used uh, his weakness as well. You know, you, you, At least he got a reflector. And there's nothing more satisfying in this matchup than reflecting a white Pikmin. Reflecting a white Pikmin is it's just so great. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that done. This might even be his counter pick uh, for Olmer, by the way, because I do know that if he is a Dark Samus main, like his profile picture would imply, that uh, Samus is a terrible match versus Olmer. So that, that, that kind of makes sense. Okay, we got down airs. None of them connecting into something more. Only minimal damage. Ah, oh, I know, I know. He was trying to go for the edge guard. Rolling into an F smash. Sweet spot. Red Pikmin F smash. That's gonna take it out. But whoa, there's Slate! Catching the mist tech with a force smash. Usually the force smash is a bit too slow to catch those mist techs, but Slate. Um, I guess uh, I guess he's something else, you know, just a little bit quicker than your average Mario. Oh, but the SD, but the SD, I don't think he meant to be reversed that fireball. And then he a uh, beat too late. I don't know what's going on, man. Maybe he should use his game to turn around his stall a little bit. That's a uh, real unfortunate four slate. Okay, that's a big up smash. Seems like he doesn't let this SD bother him too much. Still playing pretty composed. The white finds it, Mark. But I think Mario has some pretty good hitboxes when it comes to getting rid of the, the Pikmin. I find that it's usually the, the tall characters that struggle more with uh, getting rid of the Pikmin, you know. Hitboxes further removed from the body. <laughs> Trying to get that kill move. But Mario has a hard time forcing that kill, so you're gonna see a, l a lot of kill moves just being thrown out there. And that's okay, because a lot of these smash attacks, like that forward smash, don't have too much lag. So the kill percent, especially because it doesn't have too many specific setups, it uh, can be you know, kind of wise to just throw out a forward smash every now and then. Maybe they'll walk in. And because of that lack of, uh, you know, properly strong aerials and kill setups, we see an all of our living all the way to 170. He should be looking for a dare now. If he can get the final hit on the dare, he should be able to get the stock. But here goes Sai. Wow, okay, and a blue pigment just destroying that stock at 100, maybe a little more? I guess he had full rage still, I didn't expect it. But I have to admit, I was not looking out for that particular Pikmin. So what that means is, uh, is you really, really should uh, be watching out for what color Pikmin he has at high percent, you know, a blue one. They're so much stronger in this particular game. That's a 1-0 for Sai. Yeah, that's very possible, Super Sai Mita. <laughs> uh, that will be um, kind of unfortunate. Let me just put it like that. I wonder if Slate's going back to the Mario. If I check with Smash GG. It looks like he uh, he has been playing Mario all tournament. So uh, this doesn't look like this is a counter pick of some sort. Maybe he just picked Dark Samus profile picture because it looked cool. Very possible. Ready? And here we go. It's round two, baby. It's round two. And Slate is going for the wolf. Interesting pick. 
I, uh, I think it's a good pick. Uh, he's gonna have a little bit more trouble um, catching Olimar because his run speed is not the greatest. But his projectile is a lot better than Mario's. And his, uh, his reflector is a lot more lenient than Mario's. So let's find out if, um, if this is the right choice. I mean, switching from, from Mario to Wolf is usually, usually the right choice. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, Wolf is absolutely slaying those big men right now. He's afraid of the purple, I understand, I understand. Big fist from the Olimar. I love it when they actually use the forward tilt and hit. That's just that's just great. Forward tilt not gonna kill yet. Oh, and he misses the drop zone there. Uh, but Sai somehow misses the ledge. Okay, that's that. That was pretty interesting. I expected Slade actually to uh, bite the dust there because it looked like he went too deep. You know, Wolf can't go that deep, but instead it was Sai, just kind of SD, I suppose. Oh. And now they're back to even. One good moment in the corner by Slade and they're back to even. But here comes Sai once again. We all know all of us damage output. <laughs> and there once again the blue up throw. It is such a good kill throw. I think it went from a pretty mediocre Guild Thrones match 4 to undoubtedly one of the best here in Smash Ultimate. And aside from that killing up smash, I mean up throw. The blue has also been tearing Wolf apart just with the normal pigment ledge. Fortunately for Slade, we did get a nice read with the backer, but he has a lot of percent to make up for. Yet another blue grab. Is that another kill? No, it is not. No rage. And I suppose maybe even just a little bit still. And there it is. The down air from the purple is going to take it. Oh, that's a space there. Yeah, that's a classic way to seal the stock as Olimar. But I think Slade got pretty close, compared, especially compared to game one. So good stuff to both of them.